It is, and we thought it would be very fitting to test your mettle as a young politician to see just how well you know Scarborough. So we've organised the most North of the River quiz we could ever make. Ladies and gentlemen, Scarborough or Nabra? <laughs> Here we go. Question number one. Stuart Aubrey, what is the name of this? A shaka. You're right. It's a shaka. It's a shaka. It's a shaka. Start up, we start up slow. Okay. Who designed the famous Scarborough clock tower? We got a photo of it? Mm. Yeah, no, I got me. Uh, the correct answer is a fucking blind guy. <laughs> Okay, here's another Scarborough question. What does SFA stand for? Sweet fuck all. Oh my god, yes. <laughs> <laughs> hey, I don't, this is not planned. I don't, can't believe you got that. I was really trying to stump you. It stands for sweet fuck all, as in what Scarborough beach inspectors do. <laughs> and finally, the final question of the night. After supporting the selling out of Scarborough to foreign investors, trying to force WA to open its borders during the middle of a pandemic, referring to homeless West Australians as meth zombies, skipping key euthanasia debates to watch the footy and obstructing the procurement of a WA taxpayer-funded report into corruption within Housing Authority to protect the Liberal Party, who is this person? Former leader Liz Harvey. Incorrect! The answer is nobody. 